outside Howard, the open wing jumper. And Shaquille O'Neal with his third rebound in the game's first three minutes. Wait on the drive. Howard blocked it out of bounds, but a magic foul. I talked about it before the game. He says we want it. And also, you mentioned the Steve Francis situation. It's just uh, he's not playing with a, a good mental approach right now with all the trade rumors. Here's Wade measuring the jumper, drawing the foul, and dropping it home. Yes, the grimace for Stevenson could be a long night ahead for whoever covers Dwayne Wade. You like the concentration and strength of D. Wade as he follows the ball into the basket. You know, some guys, when they get hit, they just throw the ball up without concentrating, knowing they're going to the foul line. Dwayne Wade's one of the best of finishing the play after he gets hit. Here's Wade, quick alley-oop for the Diesel. Jack did the right thing. He didn't go up and get the lob on the dunk. He caught it, gathered himself, and then threw it back up. Good play by the Heat. And Coach, that makes it 13 consecutive games for Shaquille O'Neal with at least one block shot. Well, you know his legs are feeling better. He's blocking shots. Wade, Wade filling it up. Wade with six points. And the Heat now lead by 10, their largest lead of the quarter. 28 points for Wade on 12 for 60. Just over a minute left in the first quarter. He used to call those garbage points. Now they call them opportunity baskets. Here's Wade. Another opportunity for him to get to the basket. And he seizes it. Switches hands. Finishes with the left hand. 10 points for Wade. His 49th double-figure scoring quarter this year. Didn't take long, did it? Nope. When you teach young players how to make that layup going to the basket... decided right here. Wade puts it up. It's yes. good. Yeah, baby. Game through. Wade has the ball. And the game is in his hands. He puts it up. It is good. He did it. Dwayne Wade has won the game. Tied at 96. Three seconds left. Wade steps back. Yes. He won it. He won it. Dwayne Wade won. And then on Sunday, more clutch opportunity for Dwayne Wade. Two of his 17th straight fourth quarter points to seal the deal for the Heat. 100 to 98 over the Detroit Pistons. 640 left in the first half. This is the closest the Magic have been since it was 12 to 9. Wade on target. 15 points for Dwayne. The Heat are up five. AC Augman overplaying Wade, trying to not to let him catch it. Nice flip back for Anderson. What a play by Wade. Shannon Anderson knocks it home off a fancy Wade assist. And Wade clutching his leg a little bit as he jogs down to the defensive end. You know what you love about Wade besides everything else? He knows where all his teammates are before he makes his move. And so if he gets caught in the air, he throws it to the spot where he knows the teammate is. Nacho, too. And I'm sure that's what Brian Hill's looking for. <clears throat> He's a terrific coach. Now, despite the first half offensive highlights for Miami, their lead is only five points. Wade double pumps and hits. So Dwayne Wade has 19 points. He and O'Neal have combined for 39 of Miami's 59 points. And we're showing a great deal of improvement here in the second year. Dwayne Wade with the jump hook. He's got 21 points. So he ends the longest double-figure rebound drought of his career. He went six straight moves without, but is back. There's the step back that he won the game on the other day. Exact same spot and buried it. Now Wade has 23. O'Neal has 22. And the Heat lead by 14 for the second time in this quarter. Wade measuring the mid-range jumper. Tony, they used to question his perimeter touch. Question no longer. Well, that's why he's the fifth leading scorer in the NBA because he combines the outside shot now with that terrific drive and finish to the basket. Yeah, if you've got 25-25 vision, you're looking right at the same thing we are. O'Neal and Wade both with 25 points. Well, they keep trying to get seven wins in their last nine games with a victory tonight. Wade using glass. And he smiled and he didn't call it, but he'll take it. 27 points for Wade. Now banking hours open very late here in South Florida tonight. Watch D. Wade goes up straight. It looks like a pretty good shot. It goes off the board and he's smiling walking back because he knows he tried it straight in. 
hey, sometimes, you know, it goes in, baby, when it's not supposed to. Need about rebounded the Magic by seven and Wade with a scissor kick. He's got 29 points. When we're in Orlando in November. I took a look at that. That's the ugliest ankle I've ever seen with all kinds of surgical marks. If Wayne Wade pin up another 30-point game on his poster board, 31 for Wade tonight. Give Shaq the assist. Good pass by Shaq off the double team. Now Wade's consistency, night after night, posting big numbers, helping his team win, has really been staggering. Heat fans don't ever take it for granted. He, he dunked it so hard, he got himself off balance. Boom! <laughs> Now the crowd chanting MVP as Wade chooses free throws. <laughs> By the way, Haslam's career rebounding high. 18 at Indiana back in February of 2005. Here comes Wade driving through, drawing the foul, and finishing with a flourish. With three blue shirts around him, we talk about the strength of D. Wade, able to finish when he gets hit. Boy, you got the quickness, the speed, the power, the strength, the instincts. This man has the whole package. That's why he's starting in the All-Star game on Sunday night in Houston. Here he is going to the basket again with that left hand like he likes to do. With all the blue shirts around, he finishes. Wayne Wade, almost 28 points in the second half against Detroit. He's picked up right where he left off in all kinds of ways. He does post-ups, step-backs. He likes the, He's really developing a pretty good step-back move. He's got that mid-range jumper off the dribble. He obviously can throw the ball down when he wants to. That ex excellent left-hand dribble to the basket as he draws the foul. He gets to the foul line with the best of them. That man has 70, 63 points in the last three halves of basketball. Wow, but it looks like every game seems like he's improving. It's amazing. Tony is an all-star starter. He's clearly made his case as one of the league's best players, but I still make this case, Tony. I think he is, bar none, the most exciting player in the NBA. No doubt. Look at that pass inside to Udonis after he kept the ball alive. The other night in the second half, he was clearly, against the Pistons, clearly the best player on the floor. Well, the Magic just 4-21 in this fourth quarter, and Wade having his way every which way. 38 points for Wade. Another amazing move by Wade. He went to the basket, hung in the air, and got the ball under the defender. Usually he goes over him. A 13-point fourth quarter for Dwayne tonight. Well, he did what they were supposed to tonight, Tony. That's handle an inferior Orlando team, and Miami's going to get their 32nd win of the season. And for the first time this year, rise 12 games above the 500 mark. Yep, run their home record to 19 and 6 with this win. And again, led by the two stars, Shaquille O'Neal with 38. Actually, Dwayne Wade with 38. Shaquille O'Neal with 25 points and 11 rebounds. Now, Dwayne Wade coming up with a 38 points tonight, 13 in the fourth quarter, his 23rd game this year, where he reaches and exceeds the 30-point mark. He's in the Sun Sports Winner Circle with Jason Jackson. Eric, thank you very much. Dwayne, what do you think about those MVP chants you're getting from the Heat fans today? It was lovely, man. It was the first time I heard that, um, but it was great, man. Well, it has to do a lot to do with how you're playing these last two games. Absolutely fantastic. How you feeling out there? I'm uh, feeling pretty good out there, man. I've been working on my game a lot uh, behind closed doors, and it's, it's, it's finally showing, you know, out here on the court. I'm a lot confident in my pull-up game and my game overall, so I'm feeling pretty good. It's only human nature to have a bit of a letdown anytime you have the type of success that you all had on Sunday. How did you all avoid it today? Uh, we don't have time for no uh, letdown, man. We didn't have enough this season. Uh, so we're just trying to come out here and get better. Um, and tomorrow night we're going to go through the same thing up in Orlando. Go up there and try to get better and then get ready for the break. Give us some rest. Congratulations on the win. A nice job showing it off in front of your new uh, Gatorade teammates there, uh, Derek Jeter and Peyton Matt. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, they up here filming the Gatorade commercial that we all are um, a part of. And it was I'm glad they came out. You know, to see the game, and, um, you know, it was good. So hopefully I'll get the chance to do the same thing for them one day. Thanks a lot for the time. We appreciate it. Thank you.